for our entrance in let us take him number 76 celebrate god with your hands celebrate god with your This Mass is offered for the souls of Mr. Francisco Mendoza and Lily Lobo. Welcome to this Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each one of you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are on the second day of our Navina in preparation for the birthday of Mother Mary. And the theme for today's Navina is Jesus opens our minds to understand Scripture. All of us, it's so good that we read Scripture daily. But reading is not just enough. Our minds and especially our hearts need to be opened. And that happens through Jesus. And that's the grace we pray for that whenever we read Scripture, Jesus opens our hearts and our minds. And now a question for you. Ask yourself very seriously. Do I really read scripture daily? Do I really read scripture daily? And in case you have failed, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray in silence, bringing our personal intentions to the Eucharist. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, Grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The first reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning the times and the seasons, brothers, you have no need to have anything written to you. For you yourselves are fully aware that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying, there is peace and security. Then sudden destruction will come upon them. As labor pains come upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you are not in darkness, brothers, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night or of the darkness. So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For God has not destined us for wrath but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake 
or asleep, we might live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our response to this psalm is, I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Please repeat. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? Our response, I, I believe, believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord to inquire at his temple. Our response, I, I believe, believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. Our response, I, I believe I shall see, see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. the living. Kindly rise for the gospel. Clap your hands and sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. Clap your hands and sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Clap your hands and sing alleluia. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Clap your hands and sing alleluia. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Dear Jesus, open our hearts, that as we listen to your word, we may become a little more like you. I have taken a special gospel for today. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the lake. And a great crowd gathered about him so that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood on the beach, and he told them many things in parables, saying, A sow went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they, where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprang up since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil, and they produced grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the theme today tells us that it is Jesus who helps us to understand Scripture. It's not all the knowledge that we have and all the books that we read and even all the Bible studies, however good they are, that we go to. Ultimately, it is Jesus. 
You remember that incident at Emmaus? What happened? The two disciples are walking down, absolutely dejected. Everything they held their hopes on to were now shattered. And then Jesus comes and speaks scripture to them, opens their hearts to understand scripture. And what do they say? Did not our hearts burn within us? And from that situation of frustration, disappointment, Suddenly, nearly like a new creation. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. And only Jesus can do this. And that's what we are told today. The theme today is, Jesus helps you to understand scripture. You remember the, the story of St. Augustine? We celebrated his feast just the other day. What happened? 17 years his mother kept praying he lived a dissolute life and then one day he hears they can read he didn't really care about reading the bible but out of curiosity he opened the bible and read the words the night is far gone the day is at hand turn away from the deeds of the darkness into his light from romans and then transformation the sinner became saint augustine only jesus can help you to understand scripture. Today Jesus tells us what we should avoid when we are reading God's word and living, wanting to live the good life. When he speaks about the seed being sown, very quickly to explain this to you, some seed fell on the road, on the pathway. Jesus gives us three don'ts. Fell on the pathway, what happens? What happens? You heard the word? The evil one comes and picks it up and takes it away. So what is Jesus saying? Don't do evil. So before God, reading God's word, there's a preparation that we need. And the preparation are these three things. Don't do evil. That means avoid a life of evil. You can't carry on living a life of evil and then reading God's word. Evil, God's word. Two, if you put one leg here, one leg here, you'll fall on your pants. So that's the first thing. The second thing, the seed fell on the rocky ground, sprang up immediately after retreat, all joy. And then what happens? It withered away. Why? Because no roots. They give up. And the second is, don't give up. Christian life, if you look into the Bible, one word comes again and again, endurance. In the face of persecution, the disciples didn't put their tail between their legs and run away. Endurance. They prayed for endurance. And finally, the third. What is the third? The seed fell among the thorns and the thorns choked the word. In other words, don't love money. That's what Jesus tells us in the explanation. So, three don'ts. Then what do we do when we want to read God's word? Only one thing. Jesus says, the explanation is not in the gospel reading of today, but just after it. Read chapter, Matthew chapter 13. He says, those who understand God's word. And what does it mean to understand God's word? Means believing God's word is God's word. Simply that. To give you a lovely quotation from Vatican II, I'm paraphrasing it. Vatican II tells us, when you read God's word, the Father who is in heaven comes lovingly to sit at your side and speak to you. See the relationship. Your father is not far away. He's not shouting out his word from heaven. He comes down and sits at your side and lovingly speaks to you. When you believe God is speaking to you today for and in your situation today, transformation takes place. For this grace, therefore, whenever you read God's word, we need to read it in the spirit in which it was written. And therefore, whenever you read God's word, simply, even a simple prayer of three words, come Holy Spirit. Not my mind. Only your spirit can help me to understand God's word. And then Jesus will help us to understand scripture. So my friends, whenever you read God's word, even just three words asking the Holy Spirit to come, come Holy Spirit. And when you invite the Spirit, He always comes.
We now bring our intentions before the Lord on the second day of the Novena. Your response is, Lord, hear our prayer. All together, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our Holy Father, bishops, priests, and religious, that God may strengthen them with the Holy Spirit, that they may be efficacious in proclaiming the redeeming death and resurrection of her Son, Jesus, to all the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those in authority, in the government and in various institutions, that we may respect and obey the rules framed by them, aware that they are in those positions as appointed by God, and that all may work together for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the faithful, that they may read the word of God regularly with faith, and may they take recourse to the teaching magisterium of the church and the spirit of Jesus, in understanding the scriptures and knowing what God has willed for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Mary listened to your voice and brought your word into the world. By answering your call, may we too bring your son to men. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all mothers and the girl child, that just as all women are gifted specially by God with the innate characteristics of loving and caring, typical of motherhood, so also may the world treat them with the same attitude of love and care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us all pause and pray for our personal needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we come here on the second day of our Navina, Lord, we offer ourselves to you. Finally, it's not what we do, but what you do in our lives that matters. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received this bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Sacrifice we offer you, humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash me on it. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. God, Heavenly Father, just as Mother Mary opened her heart to receive your word, may we too, Lord, in every way open ourselves completely to receive Jesus so that we understand your word and live it to the full. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the art of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. By your life, you teach us how to live. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. By your death, you show us how much to love. The mystery of faith Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. For unity, humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, especially here in Versailles. Bring us to the fullness of love, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy, religious and lay faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We pray for our loved ones gone ahead. Welcome them into the light of your face. face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Jesus, with Jesus, in Jesus, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for all glory and honors, yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, our Father in heaven is very fond of us. And so in full confidence we can pray, Our Father, our Father 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, not a temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every form of evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy alone, we may be always free from sin and safe from all useless anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom come, come and, and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. For peace in the world, peace in our hearts. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my kind of peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each one of you. And with and your spirit. Love spirit. each other, some sign of peace. To you. To you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But, but only say a word, word, and my soul shall be healed. And as we receive spiritual communion, soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malignant enemy, defend me. And the hour of my death call me, and bid me come to thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee for all eternity. Amen. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to the fullness of life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Open our eyes, Lord. We want to see Jesus, to reach out and touch Him. And say that we love Him. Open our ears, Lord, and help us to listen. Open our eyes, Lord, we want to see Jesus. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, 
that having received your son born of the tender version under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Navina prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, the day of our salvation dawned when the Blessed Virgin gave birth to your Son, Christ our Lord, who set us free from sin and made us blessed. As we celebrate her nativity and join now in constant prayer with her, we implore you to heal the sick, to comfort the sorrowful, to pardon the sinners, to grant us our special petition. A few moments, mention your request. Look mercifully upon us, and by the power of your Spirit, make us channels of compassion towards others. As we follow the example of Mary, a mother, who you deigned to do great things for the Virgin Mary, and brought her body and soul to the glory of heaven. Fill the hearts of your children with the hope of Christ's glory. Amen. Amen. Mary, our mother, pray, pray, for, pray us. for us. My dear friends, remember, it's not just reading God's word, but what Jesus does to you when you read God's word. So whenever you read God's word, always begin with a prayer to the Holy Spirit of Jesus. Like, come Holy Spirit. Thank you for being with us. The Lord be with you and with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. And have a wonderful day with Jesus. Wish you the same, Father. Hail, Holy Queen, and throne above. O Maria, hail Queen of mercy and of love, 